Good morning, evening, and afternoon, everybody. Let's go ahead and uh, check out our dashboard here. <clears throat> Says we are. We're streaming. Oh, we streaming, y'all. All right, stream configuration is excellent. We are online. Just wait for Twitch. Okay, yeah, we're live. Hey, everybody. Max here. Um, we do have some games to jump into here, but I am going to go ahead and, you know, begin by saying hello. Pardon me while I gaze at my phone for a second. I'm going to pull up Twitch on here, too. Um, Yeah. So that we can see our Twitch page here. Hey, how's everybody doing? Happy Easter Sunday. Um, I myself have work later this afternoon, but I uh, was super excited last night because it was my first day off in a while and uh, it coincided with, you know, pre release drafts of Dragons of Tarkir. So. I was able to uh, hop on there and pretty much uh, find these Zergos and these Roasts. I'm still missing one Roast from my uh, sideboard plan there. I could probably go off and buy it right now, but uh, I don't think that would be where it's at. Um, now let's see here. I wish I could see the uh, chat on my phone. Cause that's what I'm really interested in is what uh, you the eventual viewers have to say um, so this is based on the uh, Braverman list from the recent Invitational um, anyone familiar with red deck wins archetypes in the current standard will notice right here that this Perforos is an exception uh, and we also have three roasts and three anger of the gods um, and this is as opposed to uh, Temple of Triumph and a fourth roast. We brought in these angers and these this Perforos going up to uh, 20 lands as part of the, uh, or I'm sorry, 22 lands as part of the game plan. So I'm going to go ahead and type a little welcome message in here. This is me. I'm Maximus. Games. Pardon me again, gazing at the phone. Yeah, that's me. I authorize it. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. All right. So, let's take a look at our uh, deck tech here. As I said, based on the Braverman list from uh, the SCG Invitational. Um, so the main differences are we are still, uh, we haven't found any Berserkers, any, uh, yeah, of the new one drop. But we have found three Zergos, three Roasts. Those are the big differences. Anger of the Gods, I'll elaborate. This is my anti-death mist raptor insurance policy. As well as, uh, you know, clearing a board of manifests or whatever if a, um, a uh, Whisperwood Elemental gets out of hand. Um, between that and our, you know, um, extensive removal package. Now, the three dragon... Fo uh, I'll finish that thought. Between that and our extensive removal package, we, uh, we have enough ways to uh, deal with whatever our... Uh, devotion opponents are throwing at us which is kind of the direction that i see the uh the big you know big mana decks going is green devotion not that they haven't already been but i think between whisperwood and death mist we uh, have the tools here to stop that in its tracks and then come out in the late game with our siege and our perforos perforos is just a value engine um 
we kind of have the tools to turn him on. Kind of. Uh, loading up on one drops doesn't help that plan. The old version of the deck uh, had Mardu Scouts in here. Uh, but we also did move three of our Eidolons to, uh, you know, the main board from the sideboard. So, uh, this... But here's the thing. In the games that we are sideboarding Perforos in, we're likely sideboarding Eidolon out because this is one of the most um, play-draw-sensitive cards. It's really... And this is, a, uh, this is a good lesson to learn. And I learned it the hard way in the finals of game day in a mirror match with another red aggro player, a local player who is um, uh, quite a competitor. Uh, hi, Matt. So um, I, uh, I boarded in Eidolons in my, my deck after smashing him game one and then um, actually kind of hamstrung myself by playing an Eidolon when I was behind on life total and on the draw. And um, you don't want to do that. It doesn't end in your favor. All right, other things to mention. Foundry Street Denizen is still our... I love this card. This is an all-star one drop right here. He kicks ass. As you can see, I've been using him since the gate crash days. He's an OG, M15, whatever. He's all good. They should keep reprinting that card. We still have Swift Spears. Um, the Braverman list, I believe, cuts these in favor of Lightning Berserkers. But we loaded up on other um, instants and sorceries. Like, we got a... I, I intend to put a fourth dragon fodder in here because I believe that with our Perforos in the sideboard, four dragon fodder, four uh, outburst is the way to go. And I like this old uh, Alara dragon fodder. It's pretty swaggy. Forget I said that word. Rabble Master over here um, is actually a controversial card right now. People are saying that uh, Red has gotten new tools and, you know, he doesn't need, uh, or we don't need Rabble Master because uh, removal has gotten better and we're able to, you know, uh, answer Rabble Master before he even makes a token, which I, I've had mixed experiences with, I'll be honest, um, but I still am running three. Yeah, so, and Heel Cutter is over here at our three drop column, uh, because we dash him most of the time, and I like to, uh, you know, kind of fiddle with my curves so that I'm, I have things where I'm expecting to play them rather than on, you know, their prescribed mana spot. Anyway, that's enough talk. Let's uh, see if there's any tournament practice games open that we can just play, play some magic. Compromise and settle, check my water level. My reservoir falls, Great Lakes, 50 states, and across seas, 